three problems there. He uses the Bayes theorem. So his pre his method, historical method, is just incorrect. Nobody uses the Bayes theorem uh, in historical inquiry, or if they do, that it's a very rare thing. But um, the Bayes theorem basically comes down to the computation that you put into to your assess of what you want to assess. So you you basically put in the probabilities of a particular historical situation based on uh, the basic factual information that you can gain and then from that basic factual information the likelihood probability of X and Y and then you put that together and you get the conclusion but the X and Y the putting the information together of the possible probability of X and Y still comes down to the fact that you've got to do the groundwork as a historian to be able to put your computation in so you need to do the groundwork as a historian and the assessment of data in order to then to start to say X and Y put X and Y together you get whatever in other words unless your historical method begins with is objective or using the basic scholarly tools that are being used your computations are just going to be subjective so in other words the Bayes theorem is no excuse for doing good historical research and presenting good historical evidence and that's why most historians if not yeah the vast majority hardly anyone uses it that's why hardly anyone uses the Bayes theorem if you want to read up on that I would read uh, Lycona's The Resurrection of Jesus and read the first uh, 100 pages and you'll get some exposition on the Bayes theorem and how how it's been debunked as a historical method so the atheist scholars such as Richard Kaya would come <coughs> to the question of the resurrection using the Bayes theorem that can be easily discounted <coughs> the next thing is Richard Carrier would then present um, a thesis and the thesis would be that over time there has been a development of myth uh, through the texts and again this is a misrepresentation of the data there is already even within the first couple of years of the death and resurrection of Jesus historical material that counters what a Richard Carrier would say so we have in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 in the first few verses we have Paul saying I have, this is what I received of first importance that word first importance uh, scholars will tell you and if you if you want to get a lecture on this listen to um, trying to think what his name is uh, yeah JP Moreland you listen to JP Moreland on the resurrection uh, and he'll give you some details about this and also uh, James Dunn's uh, Jesus Remembered listen to some of his lectures he's definitely not on our side but uh, he's one of the most eminent scholars on G historical Jesus studies go and listen to him uh, 